Hey folks, this is Casey Hildebrandt here today with Hildebrandt Tree Tech. We really appreciate you taking a minute to join us for this quick video. And I've got a question for you today. Do you have a drippy nut problem? And yes, we are talking about trees today. And please don't Google that. So several years ago, we were getting flooded with phone calls in the month of June, end of June, beginning of July, whenever the Texas temperatures heat up during the summer about oak trees in the Lubbock area and sap all over sidewalks, all over cars, all over the roof, the windows, people's houses, and what is going on. And we noticed that these trees were dropping large globules of sap, you know, about the size of a pencil eraser, all over everywhere. So we took samples, we sent it in, and what we were able to identify was actually a bacteria that in West Texas was the first time that this bacteria had been identified in Texas and it's Brenaria quercina, or what we call it drippy nut disease, or drippy acorns, and it's a bacteria that gets spread tree to tree by piercing, sucking insects, and they end up inoculating the trees with this bacteria, and it causes the acorns to drip and ooze sap and even some of the small twigs on the tree. So how do I know if I've got drippy nut disease or some other uh, pathogen or bug that might be causing sap to ooze from my tree. One easy way is if you look around on the sidewalk, on the you know car windshields, things like that that might be underneath your tree, drippy nut disease is generally going to peak in July and August where we see a lot of sap coming out of the maturing acorns this time of year. And those sap marks on your sidewalk driveways are usually going to be about anywhere between a pencil eraser size up to maybe the size of a quarter. There are several insects that we have in West Texas that can cause sap on windshields and sidewalks, but that's usually more of a fine mist and happens most of the time earlier in the spring, uh, with rare exceptions to aphids that might happen all throughout the season. So one of our other most common questions in regards to drippy nut disease is, will it harm my tree? And the answer for the most part is no. It's gonna deform your acorns, probably make them drop off the tree prematurely, which means less acorns to clean up in the fall and cause a big mess. But other than that, it's really not gonna hurt the tree. So the next question we get is how do we stop the sap oozing from the trees? And unfortunately, there's not a way to do that. The acorns are gonna shrivel up, fall off the tree prematurely. And at that point in time, the oozing and the sap will slow down or stop completely. So common question would be how do I treat drippy nut disease or how do I get rid of it? And the answer is we really don't. There's not a good treatment option available, but what we can do is make sure you get your favorite ISA certified arborist out to your site. If you suspect that you have drippy nut disease, assess your trees, make sure there's not something more serious going on, and then do everything within your power to promote good tree health through proper watering, fertilization, and any other pest control that might be warranted. Hey, to wrap up our video today, I wanted to share one more interesting fact with you about drippy nut disease. This disease was first documented back in 1967 out in California and then really didn't hear much about it again until the early 1990s. They were finding this in Spain. And then, like I said earlier, we were able to send samples off several years ago to the plant lab we work with and identify this particular bacteria. And that was the first known case of this bacteria in the entire state of Texas. So it's kind of interesting how our trees that aren't native and aren't supposed to live in West Texas and they undergo so much stress end up with these strange bacterial and other pathogens that affect them here in West Texas. Hey, we really appreciate you taking a minute to watch our video today. If you're already a customer, thank you so much. And if you're not a customer, give us a chance to earn your business. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up to keep in and subscribe to the channel to keep up with more educational content. Have a great day.